This tutorial is part 6 of a series demonstrating how to use the PSOC Creator UDB Editor. In part 5, we created component level outputs and generated a symbol file. Here, we'll place the component in a design and build the project. To place the component, switch to the top level schematic in the design project. Then, click the default tab in the component catalog and drag the component onto the canvas. Next, Click the Cypress tab and add a clock component, then add a couple of output pin components. Click the Build button. The output window displays numerous messages, and PSOC Creator generates the source files for the project. In the Workspace Explorer, click the Source tab to display the generated files. Among the various files, there is one called udb underscore pwm1 defs.h. This is the instance name of the udb component we created. Double click on the file to open it. It contains a number of pound defines for simple and convenient access to basic data path registers. There are also several macros that provide safe, correct access to certain FIFO configurations. The UDB editor was designed to allow easier access to the most common PSOC UDB features while hiding various advanced functions of the UDB. You can use the UDB editor to begin working with the UDB and Verilog. Then, for more advanced access, you can add and edit Verilog code and use the Datapath configuration tool for more fine grained control. At this point, the UDB component is complete. From here, you can customize the symbol, add and configure parameters, add and customize API files, as well as add various other component files as needed. Those topics are all covered in separate tutorials. For more information about the UDB editor and creating components, refer to the PSOC Creator Component Author Guide.